In this episode, we're going to talk about the OFA challenge and what does that have to do with our Super Size Your Business challenge and how does that tie into the 30 Strategies Challenge because normally, oh, Sharon Hornell's from here. She can call me Pajama Grandma. In case you haven't met yet, hashtag pajama in the comments below. But how does all of this tie together into the challenge that we're doing for Super Size Your Business and how does this help you grow and, and create the business of your dreams? Because that's really what you want. You want to know... How does this impact me? How can I put this to work in my business to make my life what I want it to be? That's what it's always really about. It's like, how can I benefit from this information? The only reason we ever go out and do anything or learn anything is because we want to be able to apply it in our life. Some of us just love learning, but mostly it's because we want to make it work for us and what it is that we're trying to create or achieve in our lifetime or whatever it is that we want to experience in our life. So what the heck is OFA? And what does it mean? And what is the challenge? Well, the One Funnel Away Challenge, after the 30 strategies, the 30 award-winning business owners shared their 30-day strategies, what they would do from day one to day 30 to get back on track if they lost everything, that was followed up with what's called the One Funnel Away, OFA Challenge. It's a 30-day challenge to help people that join the challenge come up with the marketing and sales and the process of selling whatever it is their opportunity or their business or their product or their service in a way that will reach more people and to give them give us the framework for the marketing and sales aspect of our businesses which again helps us to supersize our businesses so i've summarized over the last 54 days i've summarized all 30 strategies giving you free access to the detailed step-by-step day-by-day plan in 30 days supersize challenge group where you can go in and you can pull out any one of those plans and you can apply what you've learned into your business to supersize your business. The last four days or so, I summarized the massive learnings, the key messages that were across all 30 of those plans that we could take away and add to our businesses. Created a worksheet that is the action item that we went through for each of the 30 plans that you can apply immediately to your business. And as part of this One Funnel Away Challenge, I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and explain and share what I'm learning in that and how you can apply that to your businesses as well. And I would imagine there will be some sort of future challenge coming from me that help people walk through the marketing and sales part of supersizing your business. If that's something that y'all are interested in, you have to let me know. If it's not, we'll do whatever the next thing is as a challenge that you're most interested in achieving for your business. Maybe it's figuring out how to manage your time better. Maybe it's figuring out how to um, outsource something. Maybe it's how to market and sell. Maybe it's how to get new customers. Whatever it is, we'll do that as our next challenge. But I'm going through right now this marketing and sales offer challenge for a product and service that I'm creating, a women's summit. And Last week was all about your offer and creating your offer. Well, the preliminary week was about beliefs and the importance of mindset. Then last week was about creating your offer. And we're doing it kind of backwards. Normally, you would create a hook story and offer to do your marketing. But we're doing offer story hook. And then we're creating our marketing mechanism, which will be a sales funnel or an online presence. And so all about offer. This week is all about stories. So we're learning how do we tell our stories? How do we share information with people so that it gets through them and they understand it? And today is all about um, our origin story and why it is that we do what we do. And I actually did that as a practice on my Pajama Grandma uh, page today. And, and I, I admit I was kind of crying a little because some of what we've been through and what's made us who we are today it's kind of painful and it's kind of painful to go back and revisit. So I'm working on that. But I wanted to just give you a quick overview of the One Funnel Away Challenge and how I'm going to be bringing some of that learning into this group so that you can take advantage of those lessons as well. So they're hard. Some of the assignments have been hard. Creating our offer and we're creating an offer for a product that doesn't exist yet. Something that I've personally never done before, but I'm really excited about doing. Um, but it's hard to figure out and, 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 and they make it easy because we go out day by day and we do something day by day to get us to create the offer. We're not just selling a product anymore. I'm not just selling this magnifying glass. I would have to create an entire offer around this magnifying glass. And now this week I would be telling stories about why this magnifying glass has had such an impact on me. Now I know you all know it has because you see it every day. So it's really an exciting, challenging, fun way of learning 
which is part of why I love challenges. It's breaking things that we want to achieve down day by day, step by step, and in doable bite-sized pieces so that we can do something every day to move us forward light years faster than we would if we were just trying to do something in a mass format. So that's it. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I will be back here tomorrow to share the next installment of our day 55 of our super size business challenge, which doesn't really have anything to do with the one funnel away challenge. It does have to do with, we put the 30 days in the middle of our 30 day challenge and stretched it out to 60 days instead of 30. But I'm hoping that you think that over delivering that way is okay. And that this information is valuable to you. All right. <laughs>